Hello there, I'm Alex Clear and I'm here at CL 2018 and I'm joined by Maxime Angelucci who is the CEO of Natural Origin, a subsidiary of Derla. Maxime, thank you very much for joining me. Thank you very much, very happy to be here. Can you just tell me to begin with a little bit about the company and how it fits into the whole Derla group? Okay, so Natural Origins is really like a company based in Lyon, specialized only on botanical meaning that our role is really to source the best of the botanicals from the entire world, bring them in uh, Lyon and then transform that into ingredients. And we are like uh, a partner of Deleur, we are part of Deleur and uh, our real goal is to bring like botanical expertise into the excellence of nutrition of Deleur. Excellent and can you tell us a little bit about how you take the product from a botanical and right up to the end format? Okay so it starts all about the sourcing. Uh, really, we invest a lot of time by sourcing the right raw material, meaning like we spend time on the ground, like uh, I was explaining to you in Namibia, for example, uh, and uh, we will spend time with the farmers, with the cooperative, being sure that it has been collected, harvested the right way. We'll double check the quality, that it's there. there is no contaminant, that there is the right actives inside. And uh, we will uh, try really to work a lot with organic product. Half of the range is organic and we'll really make a lot of effort as well to get some fair trade and bring all that into the sourcing as a really a priority for, for us. Then after that, we are like uh, designed in uh, Natural Origins to create the right botanical ingredients starting from that raw material. And we will use really like two different process. One, it's like doing a powder and the powder is like taking raw material, grinding it, pasteurizing it, so we'll not do any extraction of that, and we can maybe elaborate a little bit more after that. And we will do as well extraction. So extraction by just like using a solvent, concentrating, and making like a clear soluble product, for instance. And we know that consumers want minimally processed foods, both on retail shelves and the ingredients that go into them. So is it important that the techniques and the technologies that you use don't take anything away from the botanicals? That's absolutely key and that's what we can see uh, right now, like minimally processed, clean label, nothing added is like really something that is coming more and more and this is why uh, we are really like pushing a new range right now together with Stoller, it's like uh, called Optifine powder and Optifine powder is really about the right raw material just grinded and pasteurized and we are bringing the whole matrix of the of the botanicals meaning that there is the fibers there is the minerals there is the botanical actives and we will not select or use any carrier anymore in it so no maltodextrin no silica and so on and this type of products even though they are a little bit more difficult to use in application and that's why we created Optifine they bring all the goodness of nature and that's part of this uh, excellence of nutrition that we want to bring uh, to the customer. Tell us a little bit more about that range, the botanicals you're working with and the end use applications they're going into. Yes absolutely, so Optifine powder is really like a botanical powder that has been optimized for their particle size and they are really like water dispersible into the matrix. So for example we have created like uh, this uh, smoothie which is like a dairy smoothie like for the morning, where we will add some Optifine of Guarana inside that will bring like a natural uh, boost of caffeine in the morning. It's not an extract, it's really like the Guarana as it is, grinded, dispersible into the drinks. And this has a, l a lot of more appeal right now on the market because it is purely natural, nothing added. We hear a lot that perception is almost as important as nutrition. So is it important that consumers can see with their Optifine ingredients the actual particles and the, 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 the botanicals themselves? I think into this product like smoothies uh, it's very important because they will really see and feel that this is the entire guarana seed inside and that nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing has been changed from the nature, natural product as it is like coming from the tree. I'm joined now by Julian Bopp who is the product manager for fruit and vegetable ingredients at Derla. Julian, thank you very much indeed for joining me. No problem, you're welcome. <laughs> Can you just tell us a little bit about the concepts you're exhibiting here at Seattle, including I believe quite an eye-catching uh, proposition, uh, a zucchini and orange juice? Yes, exactly. Uh, that's uh, this product here. Um, it's a NFC juice uh, where we use fruit and vegetables to uh, reduce calories uh, in, the, in the final juice product. Um, it's a uh, not from concentrate product, so um, we have less processing than uh, concentrate juices or uh, other market products. Um, and uh, it uses uh, zucchini to bring down the calories to only 30 per 100 milliliters. 
um, and it's it's a fresh taste. It has less sugar than normal juices have, and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's one of our fo focus topics for this fair: less calories in juice. And you mentioned that it allows uh, your customers to reduce the calorie content, and they can adjust that depending on on what levels they want. Exactly, exactly. It depends, of course, a bit on uh, how much the market is willing to to cope with vegetables. We have seen uh, customers here at the fair from uh, from Japan who are more used to vegetables, so that we can go higher in, in veggie content. And uh, in some European markets, we have to be a bit more um, low uh, on that side, but. Dolo is capable of doing that, developing recipes tailor-made to, to the customer's uh, preferences and, uh, and yeah, we, we can play around with all these ingredients. You know? We talk about the combination of fruit and vegetable juices, the almost sweet and savoury flavours mm. that you obtain from that. Mm. Um, do you think that there is a different uh, level of acceptance mm. in different geographic markets mm. and how do you see that taking off? Is it mm. stalling? Is it taking off? Is it growing? It is, it is still growing, I would say. Um, I mean, there's markets, like I mentioned, Japan. Uh, there, there's big brands who are, since 20 years in that, in that segment, who are promoting uh, vegetable snack drinks, fruit and vegetable juices since years. Uh, the US market has also followed that uh, a, few, a few years ago. And, and Europe uh, has already, since a few years, also then uh, went into it. Uh, UK, Netherlands uh, on, the, on the forefront, may, maybe. But Germany, France, uh, Poland really following that. And um, it's what we are seeing is, uh, it, uh, it goes um, to, let's say, more honest vegetable products. Um, we have a green smoothie, for example, at the fair, which has really 50% fruits and 50% vegetables. And uh, we see in the market there's green smoothies only having like 5% veggies inside. So this is not really um, the, the, the full, full power that veggies can have. Uh, and so we try to, to uh, heighten it with, with more veggies in the recipe. And around the corner is already the, the generation of, uh, of uh, healthy soups. So this is pure vegetable ingredients. Um, uh, it's a fresh soup that you can have in a chilled, chilled supermarket shelf uh, instead of having these powder soups which are maybe perceived as a bit less natural. So um, we have developed that also uh, and this is for sure uh, to be holding in the market. Yeah. And this is really where Dula's expertise with fruit and vegetables comes into play. Exactly, we are, we are globally um, uh, backward integrated um, producing fruits, vegetables um, at, at the origin. So in, uh, in Germany, Poland, Turkey, Spain, India, uh, China, Ethiopia, so all over the world we have our factories producing that and then uh, it comes together in our application centers like in Osterhout in, in Darmstadt and there we are developing these uh, innovations like, uh, like this one, like, like soups, um, protein smoothies, uh, but also yeah, in, in other segments, Duller is uh, not only active in juice. Yeah. We talk about minimally processing, consumers mm. want minimally processed foods and drinks. Is the next step to that zero processing, raw fruits and vegetable drinks? Uh, let's, let's say almost zero maybe, um, uh, because uh, you will always, in order to handle supply chain uh, challenges, have some shelf life. Huh? And untreated means uh, squeezed and bottled, so this is maybe a few days shelf life only. There is possibilities to sell that, but uh, it's a small margin. Um, more is now uh, with these new technologies. Uh, HPP uh, is the word to be mentioned. Um, so uh, using a high pressure technology to, uh, to make a product safe and have a, a shelf life of uh, four to six weeks, uh, depending on the constitution. Uh, and then uh, you have a very fresh taste because you don't use any pasteurization, so no, no heat pasteurization. Uh, and the HPP then uh, yeah, makes the product safe but um, makes, it, uh, makes it fresher and, and more nutritious maybe also. Yeah. Okay, how has CL been for you? Very nice, uh, very busy, uh, especially um, Monday, Tuesday and today. Um, so uh, it's, a, it's a good fair. We, we have uh, more than a thousand contacts with customers here uh, showing our, our innovation. Um, and as you can see, it's not only fruit and vegetables, it's, uh, it's food, uh, it's dairy. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, a, it's an interesting fair uh, and, and, and good time. Yeah. Excellent. Julian, thank you very much indeed for joining me. You're welcome. Yeah. Can I